In this tutorial, I will be making this easy to knit three petal stocking at stitch flower. For work, we need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. To begin, make a slip knot. This is our first cast on stitch. We need to cast on 13 stitches. I am going to cast on stitches to one needle using the cable cast on method. This is the second stitch. Three. Four and continue. Here is my cast on row. I have 13 stitches on my needle. Begin knitting the first row. This is the right side. Slip the 8 stitch purl wise. Then knit 2 together. Continue knit 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now we have left two stitches on the main needle, knit one back and front increase. For this knit one into the back leg and knit one more into the front leg of the same stitch. And purl the eighth stitch. The first row is made, turn to the wrong side to knit the second row. Slip the eighth stitch and purl each stitch across. I purled 12 stitches, turn to the right side, begin the row 3, repeat the first row, slip the 8th stitch, purl wise, knit 2 together, then knit 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then into the next stitch, knit 2 times, for this knit 1 into the back leg and knit 1 more into the front leg of the same stitch and purl the eighth stitch. Turn to the wrong side, slip the eighth stitch and purl each stitch across. Row 4 is made. Continue and keep knitting this pattern for the next 6 rows. Work on the right side, slip the eighth stitch, knit 2 together, then knit 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Into the next stitch, work knit 1 back in front and criss and purl the 8th stitch. Turn to the 1, slip the 8th stitch and purl 8th stitch across. Turn to the right side, slip the 8th stitch, knit 2 together, then knit 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Knit 1 into back and front, increase, and pull the last 8th stitch. Turn to the wrong, slip the 8th stitch, and pull 8th stitch across. And repeat the last two rows one more time. This is the right side, slip the 8th stitch, knit 2 together, then knit 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Knit 1 back in front and crease and pull the last stitch for the H. Turn to the wrong side, slip the H stitch and purl each stitch across. Our first petal is almost ready. Now bind off all of the stitches. Work on the right side using the decrease bind off method. Bind off all stitches by knitting two together. Make loose stitches to not deform the petal. Cast 
Here I bound off all of the stitches and I have one loop on my main needle. Here is our first petal. It's shaped like a diamond. For our flower we need to make two more same petals. Let's continue begin the second petal following the same instructions as for the first one. Cast on 13 stitches. This is the last cast on stitch. I have 13 stitches on my needle. Begin it in the first row. Slip the 8th stitch, knit 2 together. Knit 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now knit the next stitch twice. First knit into the back leg. And then knit into the front leg. And complete the row by purling the 8th stitch. Turn to the wrong side, slip the 8th stitch and purl the rest 12 stitches. Keep knitting this pattern for the next 8 rows and then bind off all of the stitches to complete the second petal. Here I'm on the middle of my last third petal, still need to work two more rows. I'm knitting on the right side, slip the 8th stitch, knit two together, then knit eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then knit one into back and front and criss, and pull the 8th stitch, turn to the wrong side, Slip the 8th stitch and purl 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and the last one, 12. Row is completed. Now turn to the right side to bind off all of the stitches and complete the third petal. Knit 2 together, slip the loop back to the main needle. Again, knit 2 together, slide the loop back. Continue binding off in this way till the end. Remember to make loose stitches here so this row won't tighten our petal. Work until one loop remains. Now we're done with knitting. Cut the yarn, leaving the tail long enough for finishing. It is about 10-15 cm. Pull this last loop all the way through the stitch and continue working with the tapestry needle to complete this flower. Here are our three petals. Now to assemble the flower, I will be working on the right side with the tapestry needle through 8 stitches that are in the center. Pull the yarn through in each 8 stitch. Here I'm going in through one stitch and out through the next one. Pull the yarn, tighten in the center and work all the way till the end of this row. Once you reach the end, we need to join the first and the last petal together. Do it by making one or two stitches through the first and the last eight stitches on this side. Here our flower is ready. Now to make this hole in the center smaller, you just need to pull the yarn and fix it in this position by making a couple more stitches. Pass the yarn tail through the center to the back of our flower and our beautiful three petal flower is ready. You just need to secure and hide the tails. The center of this flower you can decorate in many ways. 
Here I decorated it using the fur yarn. You can try any other textured type of yarn. Or as an option, you can stitch a bead or a button to the center. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to our channel.